Now to coronavirus news with a KSAT connection. We know convalescent plasma has been proven to help critically ill COVID-19 patients. And the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center is still in great need of donors who have fully recovered. Yeah, much like one of our own KSAT producers who took a moment to donate today. The night team Stephen Cavasso shows us how she and other COVID survivors are joining the fight to save lives. And someone took time out of their life to save my life. It doesn't get any better now. Joseph Dorian says death was at his doorstep. He had tested positive for COVID-19 in late March, and in just a matter of days, he was on life support. But Dorian was one of the first critically ill patients to receive a convalescent plasma donation. He says it's the reason he's still here. This is Dorian's third time donating. He says it's the best weapon against a deadly virus. COVID is the enemy. Convalescent plasma is ammunition. The South Texas Blood and Tissue Center says 75 donors are needed every day to meet the demand. One of those donors, KSAP producer Gabby Agnes, who recently recovered from COVID-19. Anya says it was a surreal experience falling sick from a virus she's written about for several months. If I'm going to be part of the numbers, I, I want to get something out of it. After meeting the requirements and completing a health screening, Anya's rolled up her sleeve, ready to help people like Dorian. I know with donating plasma, I can help those kind of people, you know, and I can help save a life. And with today's donation, she may be able to save four. Anya says now is the time for COVID survivors to step up. This is the perfect opportunity to give back to the community. In a, in a moment where everybody needs help. And for Dorian, he says he's grateful to his donor and shares this message. I love you. Thank you. We're going to meet up one of these days. And that day could be just around the corner. We're told that the two are planning to meet sometime next week. Now, Dorian says his reason for donating his own plasma is his way of giving back. And if you are just like Dorian and are a COVID-19 survivor, head over to our website at ksat.com to learn how you can get involved. For now, reporting live, Stephen Cavasso's KSAT 12 News. Tim Courtney.